In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a white bean chili. Hey guys, my name is Erin Courtney, and when it comes to soups, whether it's a chili or a traditional soup or a bisque or a chowder, whatever you wanna call it, one of my favorite things to do is hide veggies in my soups, especially veggies that'll give it a thick chowder-like consistency and people who are eating it have no idea that they're eating something healthy. And since most of what I eat is plant-based, I'm gonna show you how to make a white bean chili that has cauliflower pureed into the soup, making it chowder-like and delicious. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, because there are a lot more videos coming. Let's do this. We're gonna start by putting our coconut oil into a soup pot on medium heat on the stove. Once the oil gets warmed up, we're gonna add our diced onions. Give that a little stir and we are going to cook these until they are nice and tender. Next up is some freshly minced garlic. Stir that into the onions and cook that for another minute. It's time to add some seasonings to those onions and garlic. Give that a stir and continue to cook for another minute. Add one small can of diced green chilies. This helps gives it extra flavor and a little bit of kick. Now it's time to add our vegetable broth to our lovely combination of veggies. And one can of cannellini beans. So in this video, you're gonna see where I messed up a little bit here. In the original recipe, I puree the cauliflower and the cannellini beans and the veggies in a blender until they are completely pureed and smooth because it gives it the best consistency. Here is where I got the genius idea to add the cooked cauliflower to the pot and try to puree all of it with an immersion blender and it didn't work out quite the way that I thought it was going to as you're getting ready to see right now. However, if you like a really chunky soup, this would probably be the best way for you to enjoy it. So if that's your preference, keep following these directions right here instead of pureeing it in a blender. I'm here for all sorts of modifications. But since I personally prefer a pureed chowder-like soup, I'm gonna transfer this to the blender. And I like to throw in a little batch of dairy-free cream cheese because it gives, our, it gives it a creamier consistency. Here I'm adding last bits of chunks to puree them into smooth bliss. And now it's time to pour that pure smooth bliss back into the pot. Give that a quick stir. Add in our frozen corn that has been thawed. Give that a little stir. And then add the rest of our drained cannellini beans. Time to add our salt and let that cook for just a few more minutes just to heat through completely. When this is done, of course, you have the option of devouring immediately, which is what I'm getting ready to do. And you can also put it in glass containers to store in the freezer. This makes a great on-the-go lunch. Optional, you can garnish with some fresh cilantro. This adds a lot of really great flavor to it, and it makes it pretty. It's time to eat, it's time to eat. While I was cooking this on the stove and kept smelling all the aroma of the different flavors, all I could hear was my stomach growling. So let's dig in to this delicious white bean chili. Mm. Mm. God, that's good. It's got a nice little kick to it. If you like kick, mmm, the chowder, and you cannot taste the cauliflower in here at all. It is completely incognito. Just the way I like my vegetables for my non-veggie loving victims. Mm. Another great thing that goes with this chowder or soup, chili, whatever you wanna call it. I love these corn chips and I like to get the scoops because then I can scoop more stuff into it. Ooh, look at that. This could be served as a dip too. One of my favorite ways to store this soup is in individual glass containers because it makes a fantastic meal on the go. Quick and easy, you pop it in the microwave and heat it up. 
You can put it in a thermos. You can heat it up and then put it in a thermos and take it to work with you. Just make sure you get one of those thermoses that keeps hot stuff hot for like hours. That is a great way to have it. Or you can put it in larger glass jars. I have also, for serving this for parties or gatherings, I have also put it in a crock pot, covered it, stuck it in the fridge until it was time to heat it up and take it to said gathering. Versatility, people. I love it. Mm. That wraps it up for today. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.